In the heart of Arizona lies Kingman, a quiet town surrounded by desert landscapes and vast highways. But in 1973, a sudden and devastating explosion tore through this peaceful town, leaving a scar that would never fully heal. This is the story of the Kingman Explosion, a catastrophe that killed 12 people, injured dozens more and left the community in shock. Kingman is a small city that sits on the eastern edge of the Mojave Desert in Arizona and currently has a population of just over 30,000 residents. It's located along Interstate 40 and is also one of the towns along the infamous Route 66. It also boasts a railway line that is heavily used to transport goods across the country. But at the centre of this story was the Doxol gas plant located in the Hilltop Business District on Kingsman's southeast side. The plant was located on East Andy Devine Avenue on historic Route 66. July the 5th, 1973 began like any other day in Kingman. It was a hot, sweltering Arizona afternoon. At the height of summer, temperatures often reached more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but what occurred next would make the heat of that day unforgettable. A railway tank car carrying 33,000 gallons of highly flammable liquefied propane gas was sitting on a spur that was leased from the Santa Fe Railroad. The propane gas was to be offloaded into smaller storage tanks in the company's yard. Two employees began opening the tank car's valves to transfer its load into the smaller storage tanks. However, a leak was detected in one of the fittings and an attempt was made to correct it by striking the fitting with a large wrench. An ill-fated decision. The escaping gas ignited and turned the tank car into a huge blowtorch, enveloping the two men. The men jumped off the car and one of them stumbled across the street a quarter of a mile to the highway patrol office to raise the alarm. Members of the Kingman Volunteer Fire Department responded to the alarm and rushed to the site. They began spraying the car with water, hoping to keep the tank car cool and to prevent a blevy, a boiling liquid expanding vapour explosion. I have a more detailed explanation on what a blevy is in another video on my channel, so check out the link in the description below. Burning jet fires are notoriously difficult to fight, and the Kingman Fire Department was ill-equipped to deal with such a fire. All they could do was try to cool the tank down to prevent the blevy, but by this time one of the large transfer hoses was sending burning propane against the side of the tank car. Within minutes of the initial fire, the safety valve on the car opened due to the increased pressure in the tank car. The stream of propane gas blowing out of the safety valve immediately ignited as well, with flames shooting 70 to 80 feet in the air in a V-shape. Despite the efforts of highway patrolmen who had established a roadblock along Route 66 1,000 feet away from the fire, a large crowd of spectators had gathered. But two minutes before two o'clock, just as an order to move people further away was given, the tank car exploded. The explosion produced a shock wave that was heard and felt for over five miles and produced a fireball over 1,000 feet in diameter. Debris was sent flying in all directions with the three ton end of the half inch thick metal tanker landing a quarter mile down the tracks causing damage to the rails. The blast left a crater 10 feet deep where the tank car had been sitting and nearby buildings were also heavily damaged by the blast, with flaming liquid pouring down on them. Everything for three to 400 feet from the tank car's location was blackened and charred. Damage caused by the accident exceeded $1 million. But tragically, the blast also claimed 12 victims. Three members of the Kingman Fire Department were killed immediately by the blast and eight more later died in hospital from their burns, as well as one Doxol employee. Another 90 onlookers gathered on the highway were also injured. Mojave County General Hospital was overwhelmed. The hospital received more than 100 casualties from the explosion, 
by way of the one ambulance it had. Private cars, police cars and anything else available. Planes and helicopters flew the most seriously burned victims to hospitals in Phoenix and Las Vegas. Aircraft were used to extinguish the flames which had spread across the highway. After the accident, the location of the gas storage tanks was changed. They were relocated from the town to a more suitable location near to the airport. The spur tracks were also sunk so that cars would be in a pit. If they exploded, the pit would force the blast upwards so it wouldn't cause as much damage. There have also been changes to the design of railroad tanker cars over the years, including the use of a double skin which can protect the car from fire. The Kingman disaster had a long-lasting impact on the country's firefighting community. Films and pictures taken of the accident now form part of the training for firefighters on how to tackle blevies, and standard procedures have now been established on how to treat similar incidents. Ironically, a seminar had been scheduled for Kingman on July the 11th, six days after the fire, to discuss dangerous cargo spillage. A memorial to the brave firefighters who lost their lives is now located in Kingman at the Firefighters Memorial Park, located on Detroit Avenue in the city, and ensures that this tragic accident is never forgotten. And that concludes the story of the Kingman explosion. If you found this video interesting and want to hear more stories like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And what other disasters and accidents should I cover next? Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.